Matthew Larkin, president of the class of 2015, will address the audience. Thank you, Dean Canals, Dr. Rao, ESC faculty, members of the Gemba staff, families, and especially my fellow students for the opportunity to speak with you this evening. At Navy ceremonies, it is traditional to wish each other fair winds and following seas. Fair winds and following seas. The good wishes stem from a sailor's appreciation for good winds behind his sails and the waves going with the ship. I offer the sailing analogy because our Gemba graduation is not the same as a college graduation or even a traditional MBA that marks the end to some defined chapter or period of life. But I think the experience is more similar to a voyage, kind of like some crazy Jules Verne novel, Around the World with Gemba. <laughs> a voyage we all embarked on together at various transition points in our lives. I still remember the moment vividly four years ago when my boss, a retired Navy captain, told me that I would never do the Gemba. He asked me, who did I think I was? But here I am. Maybe the winds were at your back when we started out, or but maybe you encountered some choppy waters along the way, or even now, your winds are unsure. But it was a new voyage for all of us. Well, for most of us, at least. Uh, John, have you uh, received Barty's application for the World Executive MBA yet? <laughs> and why did we embark on this journey? For some of us, it was a desire to make a career change. For others, we wanted to strengthen various skills or move into positions of greater leadership in our companies. Some of us, like Sudhir, Jan, Luca, Sarin, and Gabriel, wanted to start new companies. Or like Nestor and Fernando, take our current companies into new territories. No matter what our individual motivations were, in some form or another, we all wanted to do something more with our lives. We could have gone anywhere, yet for some reason, we came from six continents the world over to ESC, to a business school that at first glance may seem like many others, although that is hard to believe sitting here in the North Campus in Barcelona, but one that from its core is profoundly different. We came to a business school who believes that the development and well-being of people should be the cornerstone of all management practices, a school whose mission is to develop global leaders who will have a deep, positive, and lasting impact on society. In some way, we were all attracted to this marked way of doing business. Through the Gemba, we have learned the tools to accomplish these goals. ESC equipped us to not only succeed more in business, but in life, and to make a positive difference along the way. We have engaged each other in countless case studies like Benihana, 
visited companies around the world from HP in Silicon Valley, Quirky in New York, to Cordenou, the Cava Company, right here in Spain. We have enjoyed learning from faculty with a variety of backgrounds and cultures, like Miguel Arreño, only for intelligent people, <laughs> Alfredo Pastor, Yitin Lee, Mike Rosenberg, and Pedro Videla. We've eaten our fill of world cuisines at fine establishments like Boca Grande and Jardin in Barcelona, the Hot Pot Restaurant in Shanghai, and that little place in New York I remember called Hakkasan. <laughs> We've got to sample some international beverages like sake and caparinas, just to appreciate the local culture, of course. We danced the samba, learned Tai Chi, and how to play djembe, and enjoyed our own unforgettable Gemba World Cup match in Central Park last summer. And yes, Sandra, we are counting on you for the rematch. <laughs> Long after the Gemba, we may not remember every case, like the amazing team bonding we all experienced over northern drilling. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll still know how to toast properly, when a French goodbye is appropriate, how to treat our mothers-in-law, <laughs> Luca, <laughs> and how to greet each other in different countries and languages. Just to be safe, I now reach out one hand for a handshake, the other arm for a hug, a kiss on each cheek, but I'm still not sure how to greet the woman. <laughs> but hopefully, we will take away so much more than the fond memories of our Gemba moments, like the Sagrada Familia, Leah taking us to West Point, the amazing barbecue at Fabio and Michelle's house in Sao Paulo, and Maxime's patriotic introduction to our international class on the first day. Iesi constantly challenged us to think differently. In the tough business moments, we'll remember to think of the person and not just the bottom line. The obvious solutions may not always be the best ones. How many times did we think we had the solution to the case wrapped up just to discover how much we didn't think about in discussion with our team, only to realize once more in the classroom we had hardly scratched the surface. Of course, it may have helped if we had actually read the case. <laughs> the greatest learning occurred from each other, both in and out of the classroom, whether we were walking the streets of Manhattan or up all night at the Sanzi or bling bling. Ramon taught us to apologize when we make a mistake, or really for any matter, <laughs> to always take things step by step, as Pablo taught us, to be cool and not cruel, right, Stefan? And also, as Shehu reminded us, not to forget the six step process. We have developed a network of trusted colleagues around the world to consult in professional and personal matters. Many of us had the pleasure of meeting Fabio Barbosa in Sao Paulo last month. He told us that a good company will be a better company if it hires the right people. Look for people who are on good terms on life, people with shine in their eyes. He went on to define vocation in a way that I think speaks to the heart of all of us. People who ask themselves if they're doing what they should be doing in life. I have been so struck by how often I have heard this question during the Gemba, keep asking. 
St. Catherine of Siena said, if we become who we are meant to be, we will set the world on fire. I am so impressed and encouraged by how many of us are starting our own business ventures and bring in our unique solutions and talents to the world. The entrepreneurial spirit of our class reflects ESC's commitment to business and people throughout the globe. We are proud bearers of the first graduating class that includes both European and American tracks. ESC's presence in the US is also akin to a startup. Only a couple years ago, Elizabeth and three others started in a small office in New York across the street from today's campus that we have come to know so well. Today, the former dance studios are host to a world-class campus that beckons some visitors to ask Eric Weber if this was Yessie's nicest campus. Needless to say, they had never visited Barcelona. <laughs> Let us always carry the life lessons from the Gemba with us. Make things happen wherever you go. Bring your unique gifts and talents to every situation that life takes you. Maintain, in all circumstances, a spirit of gratitude. For even when things do not work out the way we had planned, trust that there is a reason for everything. No matter whether we ascribe to any particular faith tradition, I think we can all appreciate the following in our lives. Blessed John Henry Newman wisely said, God has created me to do him some definite service. He has committed some work to me which he has not committed to another. I have my mission. Somehow, I am necessary for his purposes. Yet I have a part in this great work. I am a link in a chain, a bond of connection between persons. He has not created me for naught. I shall do good. I shall do his work. I shall be an angel of peace, a preacher of truth, in my own place, if I do, but keep his commands and serve him in my calling. Before closing, I would like to offer heartfelt thanks from all of us to our families, many of whom are gathered here tonight. My wife teases me that I should never be tired during a Gemba module. For two weeks at a time, I travel to international countries, enjoy meals and drinks with friends, and requisite intellectual stimulation by day, all while she holds down the fort with our four children back home. But seriously, your tremendous sacrifice made this transformational experience possible and we know that it did not come easily. Life events happen as they do in any other year, both joyful and sorrowful. And your perseverance and support carried us through. I'd like to speak a minute to my own family, who is back home in Chicago, but I know that they will be seeing this on video soon. My wife, Elissa, my four children, Isaac, Asher, Sarah Grace, and Matea, I want to thank you. I know that you've also paid the price to enable me to pursue this amazing education. To my friends in the graduating 
ESC Gemba Class of 2015, it has been my honor and privilege to get to know each one of you. I look forward to our future that the Gemba has linked inextricably together. Fair winds and following seas.